gentlemen, I'm here in the Intercontinental Hotel in Bangkok and we have a big celebration then. Today is the, tomorrow is the Austrian National Day, but the party is already today on the 25th. And I have the great honor to welcome and talk to the first time, make an interview with him with our new ambassador, Austrian ambassador, Magister Eno Trofenik. Welcome to Thailand. Very nice to see you here. Yes, thank you very much uh, for your nice words of welcome. I'm very happy to be here. As you mentioned before, I'm the new ambassador. I've been here since two months. And uh, to, today is our National Day celebration. I'm very happy that so many Austrians are here and to celebrate with us. And it's a, it's a, it's kind of, it's a big party for the Austrians. For the short time that you are here, only two months, you have made the biggest and nicest and most beautiful National Day party I've ever seen from the Austrians. And I lived 36 years in Thailand. I swear it. <laughs> no, no, thank you very much. Those are very kind words. Uh, and you're flattering me. Huh? No. And, yeah, and this is one of the, the situations where actually uh, my, my, my father would be very proud of what you just said and my mother would even believe what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely sure, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> you know, it was so beautiful. I mean, I, I felt like I'm at the Opera Ball in Vienna when the dancers came in and, and started to dance. It was so beautiful. And then all, even the ties, I, I didn't know they could dance waltz so very well. No, I think it was beautiful. I think the important thing was that it was interactive. And that's what it's all about. If people want to enjoy themselves, they have to participate. And so I was very happy the dance floor was full that people enjoy themselves on the dance floor and waltz together with us. So that was now the funny part. <laughs> but uh, tell me, what would you like to achieve in your time when you're here in Thailand? What I would like to achieve, I think that a lot of, uh, when it comes to Thailand, I mean, the business contacts are very strong. Also politically, I think we have, a, like, for example, last week, where the visit of the president of the Senate, we'll have the Minister of Interior coming in December, we'll have the Austrian president coming in February. So we have a lot of incoming visitors, and I think we have to work with this momentum and to follow up on that. And I also see, for example, when it comes to multilateral business, when it comes to the United Nations, Austria and Thailand are kind of like-minded. They see, see a lot of room for cooperation, for example, when it comes to fighting crimes and prevention of drugs. So uh, do you still have time for your family then when you are doing all this, what you just told me? <laughs> you have, you know, he's got a very, very beautiful wife. She's from Japan. And your son is so lovely. Oh, you must be very proud of them. Oh, thank you very much. I'm very proud of my family. I'm very happy. My family is happy here. Of course, it's very busy in the beginning, but in the beginning, it's always busy and it should be this way. I wish you all the best. I don't like to keep you away too long from your guests because they're standing in line talking to you, taking pictures with you, and uh, I do understand that. Um, actually, to tell you the truth, I'm an Austrian and I'm very proud to be an Austrian and I'm very proud that we always have the most charming ambassadors. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your kind words. <laughs> Austrian National Day, what would we do without the Hungarians? I mean, Austria-Hungary was one time a very, very big empire, right? Yes, we, uh, and we now I have the Hungarian ambassador here next to me, uh, Mr. Dennis uh, Tomai, and very nice to meet you. It is my pleasure, madam. It's How long are you in Bangkok already? Uh, almost three years. Uh -huh. and another two years, I guess. No, another one. Another Unfortunately, one. only one. Oh. <laughs> so where are you exactly from Hungary? Are you from Budapest? Well, I was born in Budapest, okay. uh, but, you know, a Central European family. My mother is from Transylvania, which is, oh, okay. belongs to Romania nowadays. Uh, my father is most, uh, his family uh, is most probably from Burgerland, so... <laughs> Typical Central European. Right. You, you, uh, typical, and you could be Austrian actually, yeah. because we are also mixed all, the, all of those us. So, uh, what are you doing in Bangkok? What are you achieving in Bangkok? 
Well, uh, we are not so successful in a way as, as our Austrian friends. Uh, our relations are, are developing quite well. Uh, we are progressing very well in, in uh, the political cooperation uh, with our, our Thai friends and uh, where, where we would like to do more on the economic fields. That, uh, but uh, it's an ongoing process. Thank you so very much for the time you took Thank to you make that much. interview. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. I give you my card. Okay, yes, I... Gentlemen, I come to Bangkok, I stay at the Conrad Hotel, and whom do I meet? The former Hilton general manager from Patea, who is now the big general manager at the Conrad Hotel. That's why I went there. I'm not bigger than I used to be, but uh, thanks for staying with Hi, us. Hi, <laughs> You just can't escape me, can you? Nice to meet you. Again. It's always good to have you, Alfie. Nice to see you so, again. How do you feel in Bangkok now? I feel wonderful, and you know, it's my one-year anniversary in Bangkok today. Yeah. It's been one year exactly to the day that I moved up to Bangkok, so still missing Pattaya to this day, but uh, equally enjoying it up here. Okay. Yeah. So how is business going on? Do you feel anything about the the protests or whatever? What doesn't that affect you? What protests? <laughs> no, it's it's all good. You know, Bangkok is very vibrant. Lots of things happening, and we'll always focus on the positives and the good things that are around us. So, and and I think you know. Bangkokians feel the same way, so uh, it, it's all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we still miss you in Patea, also. You're always very kind, I but appreciate it. we have now another uh, general manager at the Hilton who comes from Austria. I didn't talk to him yet. I hope he's as charming and nice as you. Some people say he looks like my twin brother. I do reject that notion, <laughs> but uh, I, I certainly know him well. He's a good guy, and uh, I'm sure you'll all have fun with him as well. So, all, but, all back in Austrian hands, what can I say? Of course, they are also charming, and I'm so very proud of them. <laughs> um, Harald, thank you very much for the short talk. I know you are very busy. Your wife doesn't like to come into the camera, obwohl she's looking so beautiful in she, her dinner. She's a camera lady herself, but uh, always a pleasure, always nice to talk to you. Big hello to all the people of Pattaya, and uh, look forward to being back there myself, hopefully soon in a short break. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, yeah. look okay. forward to it. Harald, thank you so very much, thank and you, all the Alfie. best to you. Take care, thank you. Thank you.